Hey guys, welcome back to Food Tech Journey. So today we are going to discuss about types of food adulteration with examples. If you have not seen my previous video related to food adulteration, do watch it to have a basic understanding about food adulteration. Now, without further delay, let's start. Adulterations are of three types natural, intentional, and unintentional. Let's discuss them one by one with the help of examples. Intentional adulteration is usually done to make profit, or sometimes people does it without knowing how hazardous it could be. Some examples include substitution of milk solids or extraneous matter to spices. Unintentional adulteration is done, takes place due to ignorance, carelessness, lack of facilities or insect residues, which is totally unintentional but it can also be hazardous. Next is natural. Natural adulteration just includes some organic compounds and presence of certain chemicals which are naturally present in the food product and which have very less effect on the human health. Here I have a food fact for you that about 5000 species of marine fish are poisonous and many of these are among edible varieties. So people should have a basic understanding about physical, chemical, microbiological and sensory quality of foods in order to have a long term health. Now we are going to discuss some common examples related to food adulteration. Starting with milk and curd. Adulterant which is used in milk and curd is water and starch powder and it has very harmful effects like stomach disorders. Next is grains. In grains, the adulterant which is used is dust, stones, straw, pebbles and wheat seeds. These are the most common adul adulterant which, is, which are used in grains. And the harmful effects can be toxicity in body or liver disorders. It can cause liver disorder. Next we have pulses. In pulses, the adulterant which is used is dyes and chemicals, lead, chromate and some metals. And the harmful effects can be stomach disorders. Stomach disorders are the common harmful effects which are caused. Next is coffee powder. The adulterant used is tamarind seeds powder and it may cause diarrhea. Next we have tea. In tea, the adulterant which is used is artificial coloring agents which can uh, cause liver disorders. Next we have sugar. In sugar, chalk powder, washing soda, urea, soda and other adulterants are commonly used. And this can lead to stomach disorders and sometimes kidney failure also. Next we have edible oils. In edible oils, adulterant which are used are mineral oil, castor oil and artificial colors. And these may also lead like, to many allergies, cancer, cardiovascular diseases, paralysis, gallbladder problems. Next we have the most favorite product of so many people which is ice cream. In ice cream, pepper oil, acetate, ethyl acetate, nitrate and animal parts for gums is used. So many chemicals are used as adulterant in ice cream and it may also lead to many dreadful diseases of lungs, kidney and heart. Next we have spices. In spices, adulterant which is used is dust. Commonly dust is used than synthetic dyes, colors, lead, metals and red brick powders in chili is also used. And the diseases which are caused due to them are abdominal 
contractions, cancer, poisoning, food poisoning, metal toxicity, etc. Thank you so much for watching my video guys. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. You can also ask on our Instagram handle at the rate food tech journey or mail us on food tech journey. Keep spreading the content guys and help us in growing and reach the ones in need as it takes a lot to make these videos. Thank you so much.